So if you're going for like low doses, like 0.3 to 0.7 milligrams per kilogram IV, which you can use IV, you can use oral, you can use trochees, there's lots of different ways to do it. That's going to be more of a dissociative experience where you can have integration with psychology, psychiatry, and then work on rebuilding those tracks. Higher than that, about a milligram per kilogram or so, that's when you start getting to be in that K-hole, uh, which is that ketamine hole. I've, I also like it being called the ketamine village. Basically, you go down to a place where your DMN shuts off. It's like the control alt delete button on your computer. It's basically like a hard shutdown. The thing about it is that when that DMN shuts down completely, that can be pretty and scary for people, right? Terrifying. Yeah. And I remember I had this experience myself under therapeutic conditions to try this. As you're going down, you feel like you're dying. You feel like your whole system is shutting down. And for me, it felt like I was aspirating. It felt like I was actually stopping breathing. But once you get past that, and realize that you're still alive. <laughs> We're talking for a few seconds. Yeah, it's not for that long. I mean, if you're doing an IV therapy, which is actually really great for therapy because you could actually dial people in to exactly an infusion where they hit that K-hole just slightly so that they're there and then they're able to reset that DMN and also get the therapy that can integrate those new tracks very easily.